everybody welcome back for another nail polish review we're talking about fall <laughs> i'm totally not ready for fall i feel like these fall collections are coming out earlier and earlier but i'm just going with it because i want to get it up here so you guys can see the comparisons and see if you want any shades before fall gets here but this is the se fall collection for 2022 it's a hiking nature inspired collection which i really like i love the outdoors so that interests me there's a few good colors in here there's lots of comparisons though because there's going to be polishes that are pretty similar so i I will show those to you. There are a few that are unique though. These should be available at Beyond Polish fairly soon, I would bet. I will let you guys know on Instagram when they show up there. I like to get them there because they're cheaper. I picked these up, I believe, at Ulta. I'll put it on the screen here, but I'm pretty sure I ordered them at Ulta, so they're available there now, but you'll be paying like $9 a bottle for that. On Beyond Polish, you can get it for a discounted price already, and then you can use my discount code GOLARI10 for 10% more off. Okay, there's six creams in this collection which you guys know I'm super thrilled about. This first one is Hike It Up and I love that name. I think it's super cute and creative. And this is a really interesting nude. It's a beige nude, but it has quite a bit of green in it. I almost want to call it like a light brown khaki. The formula on this one is really fantastic too. I feel like on most of these, I can get them opaque in like one coat or they're like just so, so close to one coat, but I did two coats and it builds up super nice. I feel like Essie has been coming out with a lot of nude polishes lately. I've been doing a lot of comparisons <laughs> with nudes. This one's just a little bit different. I couldn't find anything exact, but there are some that are kind of similar tones. This one just has a little bit more green in it. Like I said, it's kind of like that brown khaki color. Okay, so let's talk about those comparisons. So I compared it to Keep Branching Out, and that one's more beige and a little bit lighter. Saint Tropez is lighter and has almost a little bit more grayish cast when compared to this. And In Good Taste, which I really loved when, from another one of the most recent Essie collections, is kind of more of a pink beige. I really thought it would be close to Keep Branching Out or almost exact, but I was surprised to find how much more green that it had. So I really like this one. I think I'll like it when my skin's a little bit more pale, but I find it very, very interesting. Let me know if you guys like these kind of nude shades that Essie keeps coming out with. I'd really like to know. But I like this one because it's a little bit different. This next one is Off the Grid, and this is such a cool color. It's an even darker brown khaki, I would call it, because it's a brown that just has quite a bit of green in it, but not enough to be considered a green. So I find it really cool because sometimes it does look green on your nails, and sometimes it does look brown, and I think it's perfect for fall, and I really just love it. It's going to be opaque in like one coat. I think my live swatch is maybe just one on here. I can't remember. There were a few that I only just did one coat, but I would do two for all of these. But like I said, it's like so, so close to one coat. You guys, these comparisons are kind of interesting. I couldn't find anything exact to this because I feel like it's totally unique and I went through my polishes a million times and I just couldn't find anything. Oh, I didn't check SE Expressy line, so I will have to check that because they do have some unique colors. So I'll maybe add something if it's close, but here are the comparisons that I do have. I think they're helpful because they kind of show you the different color tones of all the nudes that have been coming out and how different they are, even though they've been coming out with a lot of them. So let's look at those right now. So I compared it to Easily suede and that one's more of a cool brown more grayish and then paint brush it on is a warmer orange kind of nude and then centerpiece of attention is definitely more of a yellow toned nude color so all these are a little bit interesting they're all polishes that have come out pretty soon easily suede has been out for a little while but hopefully that gives you an idea of the color tone that this is a lot of the browns especially that OPI has are a lot more grayish or cool toned or maybe have like purple undertones and so I didn't pull any of those out to compare to this one. I really love this one and I'll be excited to wear it in the fall for sure. And then we have Transcend the Trend. I really like that name too and this is a beautiful muted blue. It's really grayish yet slightly bright but not too bright. You're gonna see just how muted it is compared to some of the other bright blues that I compare it to. I love to pull out these muted blues in the fall time. The formula is really great on this one too. I felt like I could almost get it opaque in one coat but of course like all the rest I did two coats for this one. I did two sets of comparisons for this one just so you guys could see how different it is. They all are kind of similar tones, but they do have little slight differences. And so we're going to talk about those here. Let's look at them. So I compared it to Poolside Service closer to this than I thought it would be. It's a little bit more green and maybe a touch darker. And then Vested Interest is a little bit more green. I feel like this Transcend the Trend is like the blue version of 
vested interest because it's that same kind of color tone it just had that slight color difference and so that's the reason that I really love this one because vested interest is really hard to find it's one of my favorite Essie polishes truth or flare is lighter and maybe a little less green okay I lied I have three sets of comparisons <laughs> Okay, so we have Can't Find My Checkbook and that's more sky blue. And then Alpaca My Bags was close, but not quite. And then Shore Feels Good is more of a brighter blue. And then to the last comparison, we have Roam Around and that one's lighter and more bright. And then we have Revenge is a Beach and that's darker and more of a rich color and Garden Variety is more brighter. And although some of these had similar tones, they're just a little bit different. I'll let you decide if you wanna get this one. There's quite a few blues like this out there but I did really enjoy this one. And then we have Force of Nature, and it's this beautiful khaki green. This totally reminds me of the polish that I made <laughs> in the Essie Labs. It's almost exact. Mine is maybe a little bit lighter, and I pulled both my bottles out for comparisons, and I was like, oh, I have some that are like it, and then I was like, oh, that's the polish that I made. So anyway, of course I like this one. The ones that I made with Essie in New York are a little bit more yellow, and they've turned more yellow over time, so I like this one better than the ones that I made. But if you remember that from years ago and want a polish like that, then this this is a good one to get. The formula on this one is really fantastic too. It was so close to one coat. I think you probably could get it opaque in one coat, but I did two for the picture swatch. And I think it's good that Essie added this to their line because they really don't have any polishes, at least this dark in this kind of color tone. So I'm gonna do a couple sets of comparisons for this one. Here we have Heart of the Jungle, and that's a similar tone, but it's quite a bit lighter. And then Off Tropic, you can see is cooler and darker. And then Stylonomics is the deepest color and also a little bit cooler. I probably like Off Tropic and Stylonomics better than this one because I do tend to like the cooler tones, but I really love Force of Nature. Don't let that fool you. Heart of the Jungle is probably my least favorite out of all of these. And then we have my OPI comparison. So Suzy First Lady of Nails is the closest. It's a touch more muted maybe. Uh, Force of Nature is a little bit more rich in color. And then Front Runner, this polish is so good. I've had people message me and ask me if they can buy my bottle. <laughs> I will never give it up though. It's such a good, hard to find polish from OPI. And I wish it was close to this. Anyway, that is a good polish. It's a little bit cooler though. And then things we've seen in Abergreen is similar. Maybe just a little bit more gray when you look at it next to this one. Out of this hand though, I like Front Runner and things I've seen in Abergreen the best out of all of these. So I really did like this one. It's a little bit unique. I'm glad Essie's adding more of these to their line. I feel like I want them to add even more like this, but a little bit on the cooler side. So I really loved this one though. And then we have Risk Takers Only. It's a beautiful bright orange that does lean a little bit red and it's got a really nice formula. It's a little bit muted yet still bright at the same time, which I think is perfect for fall. The formula on this one is really great too. I feel like you will need two coats for this one for sure. There was just a little bit of patchy spots after doing that one coat, but it does have very good coverage and builds up very nicely. Like I said, I do like wearing orange in the fall and I compared this to color binge which is my favorite and I realized how red that one really is it's a really bright red with maybe just a touch of orange but let's look at that okay so here are my comparisons for it Essie has been coming out with a lot of oranges so I know you guys will want to see a lot of these comparisons I did not compare it to tangerine teas and Madrid it for the gram and moving and grooving because those are quite a bit lighter and more orange and this one is darker and richer and has a little bit more red so I didn't even do a swatch comparison for that but just know they're quite a bit lighter okay let's look at those comparisons so I compared it to, to DIY for and that's a bright orange and then yes I Canyon is more of a muted red color and then color binge which is one of my favorite ones to wear in the fall and I pull it out every year it's a beautiful red with a touch of orange you can see just how red it is here but that one's very bright that surprised me I thought it would be a little bit closer than it is so that just goes to show you how off you'd be when just looking at these pictures on Line, and so hopefully this is helpful or even just the polish itself without anything next to it then I pulled out some Essie gel couture polishes because I figured you'd want to see those they had quite a few that were really really close to this one so here they are tough act to follow is close it's almost exact maybe a little bit lighter and then style stunner has a more sheer formula and it's close as well and maybe a touch more red so those are like super super close so if you have those you probably don't need this one and then OPI living on the boulevard is brighter um, but that's also close in color as well. So maybe not super original. Um, there's not a ton of these darker oranges in the main Essie line, um, but as you can see, there's some gel couture polishes that are pretty close to it. So 
I'll let you decide if you want to get this one, but I do think I love this for fall. And then we have Bold and Boulder, and it's this beautiful, dark, rich, kind of raisiny, brown, maroon shade. And it's got a little bit of white in the base, just a little bit. So it's not like your deep, rich color. That white in it makes it just a touch softer, even though it is kind of a dark, rich color. It's not as rich as some of these other ones. And so there's a ton of polishes like this. I just pulled out those that were close. And then you can decide which one you want to get. There's there's slight differences in all these and sometimes when they're darker it's hard to tell how close they are and so I'll let you determine that from what you can see here. Um, the format on this one is really fantastic. It's going to build up nicely in one to two coats. Okay, let's look at those comparisons. So we have Can't Read Without My Lipstick and that's the first polish I thought would be pretty close to this. This one's more red and more sheer and you can tell that because when you're painting it, it starts out kind of red and then it builds up deeper and deeper. And same with Berry Naughty and Bordeaux. Those are the same thing. They're all pretty similar. So they're a little bit different than Bold and Boulder. I feel like Bold and Boulder has more of like a brown raisin base to it. And then we have it compared to Yes, My Condor Can Do, and that's a little more purple. We'll always have Paris, which is the same. So those two are probably the closest, but still a little bit different. Just on the hand from far away, you're not even gonna be able to tell these slight differences. And then Complimentary Wine, which is a beautiful shade, it's a little bit richer and deeper. I also wanted to say, I didn't pull out shades like in the lobby, and and some that are close to that because they're definitely more purple leaning. I felt like this one was kind of different even though it's kind of the same. These are tough. I don't like doing comparisons for colors like this because even though there are slight differences, people get annoyed because those look exactly the same. I'll let you decide if you want to get this one, but I love it. Favorites. Ooh, okay, this is going to be interesting. If I really have to think about favorites. Okay, I'm not gonna pick the green just because I have a lot of greens like that and I tend to like the cooler ones a little bit better, but I will be wearing it for sure. Um, these are gonna be my favorites here, Bold and Boulder. The blue here, Transcend the Trend, and then Off the Grid because I just think that's a cool, cool khaki nude color. Love these, I think these look really pretty together. I feel like the whole collection is very cohesive and I feel like Essie's kinda got their game back. <laughs> <laughs> with this collection. I am curious to know what you guys think though because there have been so many SE polishes coming out I'm kind of like drowning in them but it's been kind of fun too to do those comparisons and let you guys see just how different they are. So let me know your thoughts on this collection and what ones you think you might want to pick up and I'm sorry to talk about fall and summer but it had to be done. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and we will see you next time. Thanks guys. Bye.